So today we're gonna take a look at the Runagoo, Runigoo steering wheel, which is the deep dish uh thirteen or fourteen deep uh uh drifting and sim wheel. But I wanted you guys to check out this tray that I added to my sim rig. So we're going through a few things. It's by Vivo. Uh it's amazing and what I did if you've seen in that part of the video when I pulled it out it comes with a clip right and that clip I attached it to the top part of the sim stand actually that's the GT Apex Omega that's the Thrustmaster, the Moza handbrake the glorious minus O that I finally wind up using it the wireless and cordless one so a lot of these products that are actually in this video, I'm going to place them in the link in the description just in case you guys want to get them. So, and that handbrake, you know, the stick shift. So the main purpose of this video was I put the wheel and the, uh, uh, that's the wheel is amazing. Uh, and the quick release, I'm also going to put that. I bought those products at the same time for the Logitech G920, which was at one point on my desk. And I made a review on it. So it's been some time now. And I've had the wheel. To be perfectly honest. I just started utilizing it. The day I made the video. I used it for a few minutes. And that was it. If there's anything in this video at any time. That you might like. Like the 2060 Super. Uh, the 3060 Ti on my main PC. The Go XLR. To the Warmer K7. Uh, uh, the XVX keyboard. To anything. The products will be placed in the link. In the description of this video, this is not a sponsored video. All products are bought by me. Those are the knobs, the katana sword, which is amazing. It looks so amazing once you have it there. Pop on the actual uh, shifter. Now, I originally bought it for the Logitech G920, but I've also tried it on the Thrustmaster, and I've played around with it, right? I, I would like it to be on one of my um handbrakes but we're gonna get to that so that is a few bucks that katana like 30 something bucks i think I, it was but there's cheaper ones and i'll place the link this knob right here this golden black knob is under 18 bucks and it's amazing and it fits the logitech shifter but it also fits the Moza handbrake. You know, the Moza handbrake screws off the top. It, those little pieces that I just showed, they are black and they're like a hard plastic. So I don't know how long that will last, but it seemed durable. I know it feels amazing when you grab it. It's nice and thick, <laughs> respectfully. But anyway, at this point of the video, because I recorded this video uh, previously, I'm showing you here the moza with the nah pop because i planned on putting it there and that'll be in the next video and i'll show you how i finally put it and how it looks because uh one of the main reasons i couldn't show it in this video i was trying to work around i had the back camera my other camera was being utilized in my other creation room so as you see i'm trying to show you that it goes on both uh so I just, I don't know, for some reason I liked it better on the Logitech G920. And I'm going to be honest, I got used to the Logitech G920. Although that wheel, that Logitech G920, I only used it for like about 20-something days, not even 30 days. And I knew I wanted to do this for the rest of my life, right? So uh, I drove for a living, so it, it's always good. I've always had a car. I drove trucks and buses for a living when I wasn't <laughs> arrested for running the streets of New York City. Today, my life has changed. I'm just into content creation, sim racing, drifting, and helping people in the world not go through what I went through. My main channel, the links will be in the description. If I don't post this there, <laughs> or if this is not it, on the lockout, you're going to see it down there. And it's also in an audio format with different exclusive content on every audio podcasting app there is that right there that vga i think it is that plug that cable is the cable that converts the plug from any logitech g920 product into usb 
So if I remember that cable, it's amazing because I was able to utilize and use the Logitech shifter with the Fanatic wheelbase. So you don't have to buy a $200 stick shift to make it look nice or to feel like you're doing something. Because, yeah, the gene, uh, uh, the Thrustmaster shifter is cool, it's amazing, but it feels uh, not too clock, clock, clunk, like, you know, not too strong either till you mod that too. So if I knew that, that it wasn't that strong of a, like a realism feel, I would have just stood with the Logitech G920. I had a shifter already that I had just bought for like 70 bucks. You get it? But... That plug is amazing. It shows up as a Leonardo. So shout out to Leonardo because uh, they make awesome products, whoever that is. Uh, because I know because I also had to switch the motherboard to that red and black handbrake that's up there. Because the Windows update knocked off the connection <clears throat> on whatever they was using. Sorry. Whatever they was using for us to plug that device, Windows no longer accepted it for some apparent reason after the latest update so i had to switch the motherboard uh and i'll put the motherboard and the separate uh usb handbrake there from amazon but the wheel is amazing i think it came out pretty good one thing that i was upset about this runny go or run go uh wheel if you can see in a lot of other people's videos the wheel has yellow stitching pop Right? And nowhere on this wheel, I saw yellow stitching on the inside, which makes the wheel look more cool. So I saw it in this creator's video, and I was like, bro, I want that. It goes with my setup, the whole Flash theme, you know, real gamery, content creative looking type flow, and my favorite colors, red and yellow, red and yellow, right? <laughs> so... It didn't come that way, and I'm not a send back guy. It would take forever to get here, so I just kept it, and I said, if anything, I'll order. See, the stitching is black. You see it there in the corner? They black. What happened? <laughs> that Nike sign don't come with it, by the way. It does come with a horn. So I don't know. Uh, 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 did they send me the fake one? <laughs> no, I think it's just they switched up, right? Or you had to put it somewhere. I didn't see it, but I'll be lying if I told you that I wasn't extremely upset. But of course, that's my guy right there on the top <laughs> holding down the Fanatic wheelbase. These gloves are amazing. Now, if you have a super uh, big hand, uh, whatever, you need to get a large. These are like perfect for me, but they could have been a little bigger. But if I get a large, then they'll be too big, I'm guessing, right? So it could be good and bad when you go to type. You don't want all that extra space. You're going to have to keep taking off your glove. So I don't know if you use, if you rather keep taking off the glove or deal with it being a little tighter. So I don't know. Sometimes you got to hit that keyboard emergency. But I like them this way. But just in case I want to do the comparison, look how amazing they look. They match the whole setup of red and yellow. They say fly. I leave them open anyway. Looks cool. It looks radical. <laughs> Pop. So. I got a few pairs of gloves. Uh, I also was given a pair as a gift uh, by my family in Florida. The amazing people. This tool kit, I've had it for years, guys, and it's been amazing. This is all you need to build a full computer. You don't even need damn near half of the stuff there. But that tool is what I use for everything in my studio setup. And that toolkit, <clears throat> although I buy all my products and everything I own myself, was given to me by no other than Miss Warpath. I think it was for Father's Day. Shout out to all 13 of my kids. Now I have about six, <laughs> respectfully. So, yeah. But uh, the wheel is amazing. I didn't send it back. That toolkit, I'll put in the link, too. It's going to be a lot of links. Uh, some f links may be affiliate links at zero cost to you. So I didn't put a 3D printer uh, hub to hold the quick release in the back. So it does make it heavy like the, the base of the Logitech G920. A lot of people say don't do that. So I'm not going to recommend that you do it or that you don't do it. I know I did it. And the force feedback, uh, it still feels the same. It feels a little like 
less from when the actual wheel was there and that's gonna happen you don't have the original wheel there no more you have something heavier right but hey uh it still felt amazing when i put it up in game and once i put it up in the logitech hub check it out pop there goes the handbrake the shifter now the shifter i ordered those 3d printed out things that make it modded like clung clung so it could feel more sturdy there is like four little sticks and all that don't buy that it broke in half a day i did like three or four shifts plop it split in half those things crappy so i'm always gonna be honest look at this spin you see so it's good i just had to tighten the screw so last night while i was live streaming with the fellas on my main channel on the lockout which i usually uh drift I'm not the best drifter, but we are starting somewhere. I just show my whole journey, and some people don't dare do that. So I showed you in the beginning where we sucked, and then I showed you where we still suck, and then I showed you where we got a little better, but we come a long way. So if you want to drift with us and you want to come along and you want to make content, just remember you will be recorded. I'm into making content, right? And if you're not talkative, then respectfully, we don't need you around here because we need people that talk. Uh, if you're gaming and you plan on being a streamer in gaming, if you don't talk, you're not going to make it. Uh, people just don't want to see the game. And I understand that part of content. I've been making content for over 13 years, respectfully. And everything I have in my setup, in my studio, in my house, my garage, my backyard, I've bought with money I've generated on the Internet. So respectfully, without showing off for motivational purposes... I kind of sort of know what I was talking about. I kind of sort of know what I am talking about. So right there, they told me to update the the Logitech G920 uh, hub software. Boom. And I utilized it in a minute. I don't like no uh, wheels on my desk because what happens when I wake up in the morning, I don't wind up doing regular content like podcasting or audio format or for any of the companies I may be working with. And I just want to make. <laughs> sim and drifting content right it's super addictive but hey i'd rather be addicted to sim and drifting than drugs and at one point in my life i had a drug addiction and a very bad problem so this addiction it's amazing and it means the world to me because it actually helps save my life so pop the firmware update and i utilize both of them again i have both softwares in my main pc the Fanatic, the Large Attack. I have a Moza a wheelbase, I, and I have all that. We also trying to give away a wheel uh, base bundle uh, every 90 days on my Drift channel or on my Tech channel. Uh, tech for Rec, T E K, the number four, and R E K. And from time to time, we on Drifty Boys on YouTube, right? And of course, it's on the lockout everywhere else. Facebook, Twitch, the link's in the description. We have our own Discord server and all that where you could come in, chill with us, drift, talk, and do all that. Pop. So you can see right there, I'm hooking it up and trying to get it working and see if this thing works. It went left for a little bit, but eventually, after a few more runs and a little downloads and connecting the shifter and all that, pop, because that's the only thing that was out of control because I just had upgraded the firmware, as you see, we started dealing with the set of course, uh, uh, PP filters and the pure and all that. And this is Brooklyn Park. And this is when I jumped in my amazing black and yellow car by 326. Pop. Now, there's a few ways that you could do this. And I show people pop with a whole uh, human looking type of dude comes out, pop. And you set up the car within game. And I wanted to show you guys how the wheel was actually working while it was on my desk. It was moving kind of sort of a lot. And that's why I don't like it on my desk. On uh, um, This is the GT gaming uh, table. It's 55 inch. And if I find it, I'll put it in the link in the description. Also, I'm going to put my whole setup in probably my next video. But for right now, I'll put a few things that are important and that don't break the bank. So I like it this way to bug out. It feels awesome. Uh, again, this is not about how good I drift. This was just about, is the wheel working and does it spin back? It doesn't come with the Nike sign in there. I put that because I just didn't want a hole in there. <laughs> the Nike sign looks cool, right? But I think it's amazing. It feels like something different. You definitely need gloves. It does leave ink. It leaves your hands black after a few spins. I ain't even going to lie. 
the videos I seen, the guys were like, we don't really know. Uh, nah, it does. Well, this one did a lot. But I usually uh, do this. I always practice. I put drifting practice. If you look up drifting practice, I'll probably come up. I bug out with the fellas. I go in here. I go in different servers. And we bug out. So the wheel is now on the floor. I'm probably going to put it on the stand. And that'll be my live stream for tonight here. But real brief, before we end this video, if you got any value out of any of this or you enjoy this type of content, consider hitting like, subscribing, telling a friend to tell a friend. We drop content here regularly. If we can't daily, there's always something happening on this platform every day. My name is Warpath. My main platform is On The Lockout, one of my main channels on all major audio and streaming platforms. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Tell me this wasn't amazing. This is in fours of five. Bop. Wow. This left me like, huh? Do you believe in magic? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It went down.